minutes of regulation with no outcome. 20 more minutes of overtime, and nobody finds the back of the net. Sinclair, with the late chances for the Pilots, could not put it away. And now penalty kicks will decide who will play for the national championship on Sunday. Portland and Penn State both coming in unbeaten. However, Penn State has had a similar situation in the Big Ten tournament when they went to PKs against Michigan and lost. The Pilots have not had a PK shootout yet this year. But as you just saw, Portland and Santa Clara both advancing on PKs in the semis in 02 and 03. Share, we'll share a little bit of strategy with you here while we have a moment. Same Typically, you want your goalkeeper to try and at least just make one save. Typically, the first kicker is your second best kicker, and then you save your best kicker for the last, for the fifth spot. They will rotate back and forth for five shots. Whoever has the lead after five shots gets the win. Here's that uh, second to last chance from Sinclair. And you can just tell that she's not on her game. She would have typically finished that. She had a little bit of time, ball on her left foot. Her teammates aren't believing it either. And then here's the last chance here. She had a, just a rocket shot off her right foot. And if she had bent it just a bit, you can even see from that replay that that ball's not bending at all. It would have tucked right inside that post. McLeod was thanking the 12th man there. So now it comes down to the keepers and McLeod with 10 saves today been a brick wall in front of that Penn State goal. Corey Alexander, seven stops today. These two will have much to say about the fates of their team. Winner will get the winner of Florida State and UCLA. That's coming up live on ESPNU tonight. We have gone through the two golden goal overtimes that are now moving into the PKs. You know, and penalty kicks are something as, as you get into the post, you know, close to the postseason. I'm certain that both of these teams have spent a lot of time practicing them at the end of each practice just so that they get the confidence. I mean, there's nothing like game-like situation. You can't recreate a semifinal of the NCAA championship. Here is that list of Mac Herman Trophy semifinalists, National Player of the Year. Both Huey and McLeod are on that list. As well as Sinclair and Weimer. Down at the bottom there for Penn State, each of these clubs has two. McLeod is the only goalkeeper up for National Player of the Year honors. Second year in a row we've got PKs at the College Cup. Last year's national championship went to penalty kicks. Won by Notre Dame over UCLA. <laughs> Penn State will go first, and they will lead off with Weimer. And you start off with a strong kicker, get your team in, in a good position from the outset. Portland will now go with the freshman, Megan Rapino, to face Aaron McLeod.
Rapino gets excited in the big matches. She is so cool here taking this penalty kick. Carmelina Moscato, back-to-back -back seniors for Penn State. She's up for round two. straight down the center and Alexander reacted she didn't guess and made an easy save keeper is supposed to keep those feet on the goal line until the ball is struck and now it's Lisa Seri the junior from Longview Washington to give Portland the lead and McLeod responds Again, not well hit, but that time McLeod kept her footing. She guessed on the, on the previous one. This time she reacted and made a nice save, but not well hit. I mean, basically straight down the center. Penn State will now go with Allie Long, the freshman from Northport, New York. Weimer with a goal. Rapino with a goal. Moscato and Sari denied. And Long finds the side netting. 2-1 Nittany Lions. Alexander had no chance, leaning left. Little deception there, that's right. Sometimes the kicker can actually watch the goalkeeper make their first move. They are allowed to move along the line. They're not allowed to take a step forward before it's kicked. Ready, keep. Wozniak, the sophomore from El Cajon, California. <laughs> Ties it up. McLeod just kind of raises her hand in the air like there's no way I'm getting to that one. Watch where this ball hits the net. That's up high, tough to save. McLeod would have had to been fully extended in that direction in order to make that save. We go to round four now, and for Penn State, they send up Heather Tomko, the junior from Manchester, Maryland. enough pace great save by Alexander though again she reacted she didn't guess but Tomko would like to have that chance back and now a gamble by Garrett Smith he goes with Colleen Salisbury who has not played in the match and she delivers and Penn State has to make this kick or it is over And they will go to the freshman from Toms River, New Jersey, Cherie Gray. If it doesn't go, Portland advances. Alexander playing some mind games here as she gets into her spot. hits that back back support on the goal and guess who's walking up to the penalty 
spot. Christine Sinclair, the National Player of the Year from 2004 and the favorite to win it again this year. With more goals in the NCAA tournament than anyone in history.